technique is tricky because we've been doing it from the beginning and our UKs are not always as alive as they should be. But you can still use the arts principles to tell you whether it would work or not. Okay, so my geometry is a rotating, spiraling X. Okay, so I have this X and it is rotating on itself and it's traveling along a spiral as it does that. So it's not rotating in place, that would be a circle, and it's not staying still and doing a spiral. And the reason for that is only the rotating spiraling cross continually reconciles yin and yang throughout the motion as the person's height, width, and depth dimensions are being affected. Okay, so if I am doing Ikkyo Ura and I'm gonna go here, it's very common because we think I'm gonna pull it under my center and under my center is where I'm strong. And we picture this line because I turn is a spiraling, rotating X, but it is not. If you pay attention, it's a straight line with a circle at the end. If you look at it from yin and yang, it's a pull. So we're going to experience two resistance, okay? One is, he doesn't come with me. Don't come with me. I violate the art well enough that I'm able to overcome that resistance. So I get it under me. But it's straight now with the turn. He can step under it and I can't get it down because I'm trying to overcome his quadricep. So I'm strong enough to get it under me but that's not going down. Try both resistance against that pattern, which many of you have. Try it. So just as if, if I was strong enough to take that on, it's not the art. And even if I am strong enough, so come over to the camera to see you, and he has this close to like, and even if I'm strong enough and my weight is not the art, it's just big man Aikido, which means not Aikido. So, if you look, the arm is not rotating. So some things to tell you, if the elbow stays on top, then the, the cross is not rotating. The elbow has to keep going over. Also, the elbow doesn't travel in a straight line. It does go this way, but it goes this way in a spiral. So, it goes this way. So we'll look at something. Uh, some cues. If his elbow stays on top, I have the wrong line. I'm not spiraling the arm. If his body stays still, you see, that's not it. His body keeps moving forward. So I'll show you, let's get that leg underneath me, you see. It's not that I try to overpower it, it's that I'm going around this energy, this post right here, and it'll put him on the other post, you'll see. 
know, I want him to resist a second time. So when he resists here, resists strong, this is what I get to take the other leg. Okay? So over here. It's strong. So I'm not going against that leg. I'm going to take this over here and point it down. Then the other leg comes. And now I continue that, and you're going to see that I'm just doing that over and over and over again. So the technique, in other words, works through his resistance. He wants to, wants to post, he wants to post. But every time he posts, that spiral keeps going into his shikaku. Okay? So that's why you're not going to see the elbow on top. You're not going to see him stay still. Everything keeps going around, you see? Keeps going around. It's his resistance that creates the shikaku. Right here, no. Over here. Then again, over here, and again. Boom. The harder he pose, the more you're going to get the shikaku. Okay, try it again just like that without the bottom pin. Okay, so when I, when I do the takedown, it's not that I'm shoving him down that process. That's not what's happening. He's already falling. I'm aiming a falling body. The lowering of me is just the stain with him. The lowering of me is not the lowering of him. He, he was already lowering. So he lowers every time he takes that resistance point, boom, and he's going to push up on my ground vector, and he's going to get a coquille projection down. And then I just keep staying with him as he does that. I'm not pushing him down. He just hits the, the, the same projection. He's here, right? We're here, the other technique. He's here, and he's going to hit boom, pop, that same projection of the ground. He's going to hit it on my hands. So I'm going, pop, bring him into that pattern right there. That's why it go, it's like that. So boom, boom, boom. Not the steady where you're lowering him. His resistance, his will to come up, projects him down. Okay? So I come around, pop, pop, and I'm just staying with him. As he keeps falling, falling each time. So I'm not shoving him down. He keeps resisting, projecting, pop, pop, down like that. Do not make people fall down. Let people fall down. 